guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. The new studio has been up for about a year now, and I will admit that I wish I had done this sooner. I got an air compressor for up here. I work on a lot of small engine stuff up here, lawnmowers, go-karts, ATV, stuff like that. And I've been using electric tools, which are pretty nice, but there are times that it's nice to have air to tie, air up a tire and, and, you know, to use air tools in general. So I didn't need anything as big as I have in my main garage. So I went looking and Vavor came through once again. They have a uh, generator, or not generator, this beautiful little setup here I'm going to show you. It is a two-cylinder uh, air compressor, six and a half or 6.6 .6 gallon tank, which is fine for this kind of work. I wouldn't want to do, you know, mega sandblasting or something like that with this. But I think, uh, I think this is going to fit the bill pretty nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox it here with you today. And we'll get it, you know, assembled and, and tested out up here. I've got enough power to run something like this without any issues. Vivor oil-free air compressor. Yeah, pretty nice looking setup here. Not a lot to it. I think there, I mean, there is some assembly required, but it looks pretty simplistic to put together. Uh, maintenance, uh, you know, just air, getting the air out, or water out of there every once in a while. Cool. All right. So we'll go ahead and take all the pieces out. It's the, you know, the has got their colors. Their colors are orange and black. I got to admit, I kind of like it. I, I like it. You know, Craftsman had orange uh, or red and black. And I think, I think this is growing on me in a way that Craftsman stuff always did. I've always been impressed with their stuff as well. So, uh, okay, two mufflers for the two cylinders. A couple of uh, assembly bolts probably for the wheels here. I think that is the front, like, set for it. Here is our fold-up handle. Oh, nice. The handle is uh, squishy gripped. That's kind of cool. And here's the whole thing. I'm going to go ahead and just lift it up. We'll place it on the ground here. Check it out. <sighs> okay, well, here it is. It's definitely... Uh, I mean, it's definitely smaller than uh, than the one that I have. I, it, you know, on their website it says six and a half gallon. It's been a while since I had a style like this. I feel like I had a ten gallon, and a, and it definitely looks about half the size of that. So, yeah, I guess that's right about it. I don't know what I was expecting, but maybe I expected the tank to be a little larger, especially since it's a two cylinder like this. The benefit of having two different pistons to pump this thing up is of course the runtime is going to be considerably less but overall I'm, I'm pleased with the layout of it already it just seems like it's it's a nice little setup here oil free technology so these are not oiled looks like we have our reset there and it has uh, specs on that as well product is air compressor model number is 2 1450 f 24 1450 watts 120 volts pretty good motor speed is 3400 rpm and uh, it says to email a certain email if you have any issues with it but that's it there so um our power cord here if i get it untangled let's say that's a pretty short cord also you know with 15 amps of necessary juice you don't really want to run this on an extension cord or if you are going to run this on an extension cord you probably ought to run it on a pretty stout one because uh, you're going to need all 15 amps. You wouldn't want to use like a really weak one, but that's a nice one. I'd say four feet maybe from there. So that's cool. All right, as far as assembly goes, we have our mufflers and they thread in here. One goes on this side. So I'll go ahead and install those. The other one. I like the design. I don't think I've ever, I mean, you know, commercial compressors uh, will often be more than one cylinder, but I can't recall ever seeing a compact design like this that had more than one cylinder. Although the idea is sound. I mean, it makes sense to have more because that way, like I said, the thing's going to run far less. We'll tip it up on its tail end here. And you can see the front piece goes right there. So we've got just a few tools. I'll go ahead and install all this. So the front one here is just a Relatively easy one to put on here. It's 12 millimeter. I'll have to grab a wrench or a wrench, a wrench here in a second, but I figured I could get it started by hand. And this is uh, I thought at first I thought this was like hard plastic, this front piece here. 
no, don't even need that. It's actually soft rubber. You can, you can see it flexes. And that's good because it takes kind of the vibration out of everything. Uh, secondary, we got these bolts here, I think. Let's see. Put the back one in here. I think I'm going to go that direction. These are Allen head, and they do have lock washers here, so that's something to keep in mind. That is probably going to be a little harder than I just made that seem. But there's not a lot to this, I'll be honest with you. I didn't know how much setup would be involved. The last time I had one this size, or like I said, it was a 10 gallon, I bought it from uh, Home Depot. It was called Husky, it was the brand of that thing. And I'll say it held up fairly well for the abuse that I put it through over the years. I don't know that it was really designed for the kind of stuff that I asked it to do. But you can use a compressor this size to do some pretty incredible stuff. I mean, it's amazing to me you know, <laughs> what I got that little thing to do. I think this is maybe a 6 or a 5 millimeter. Let's see. All right, so in order to do this, you'll need... These, a 17 millimeter and a 6 millimeter Allen head. I'm just going to go ahead and use the 17 to hold the nut on the inside here while I tighten it down with the Allen head on the outside. Perfect. Get that laid down. See? So now she rolls around pretty easy. And I like this. It's got this additional, I'm not sure, I think it goes like that. Does it go like this? Ah, I think it goes like this. Kind of squeeze that into place. And it's actually got these springs that go in first. So I'll go ahead and put those in. Kind of spring loaded. It's really an interesting design, honestly. So no nuts or bolts holding it in place, just tension. And there we go. So that folds up. Snap that down. And now we have an easier way of moving that around. Really cool. So not a lot to it. Um, I don't. It does have. Let me go ahead and turn it to the face. There it does have a blow off. There's the pressure difference between wherever it was made and here. You can hear the air coming off there. So pressure blow off valve, pressure regulator, air chuck right here, and another blow off valve. This is our emergency blow off valve if we got too much. On off switch is listed here. Pretty cool. If I tilt that down so you can see two gauges here, input and output, as far as your pressure regulator and total tank pressure as well. So, awesome. Well, I'm gonna move the camera a little bit over here. We'll fire this thing up and let it run for a minute or two. All right, we'll go ahead and plug it in. And pull the switch. And we'll see how long it takes to pump up. Uh, I can tell you this, it's, it's definitely quiet tech because uh, I mean, I was afraid this thing would make a racket. You know, some of these air compressors are just brutal. But I'm not having a hard time hearing or talking at this point. All right, we're already at 30 PSI. So, yeah, the two, com two cylinders is really helping as far as speed. Wow, brings it all the way up to just under 120 PSI. That's a little, that's a little bit strong for me. I like to keep mine right around 100 but uh, it, it took real time a little less, or a little right at about a minute. It was like 58 point something seconds. So we'll say a minute from discharge to full charge. And of course, with a reserve tank this small, you are going to hear this thing running quite a bit. But yeah, okay. So, um, so there it is. Uh, it's warm to touch, not hot to touch. It actually feels good on a cold day like today. But overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. It's going to fit right here. And that'll give me, it will be out of the way. So I've got it bumped up against my, I've got this nice Vavor cabinet here that I keep all my uh, flammable chemicals in. This, of course, doesn't need to be up, so we'll fold that down. Airline comes around the back. I'm probably going to bring it up and put like a port right here, like a three-way port and hang an airline right there. So perfect for the small garage, perfect for something that's like, I don't have a ton of room, but I have room. And on the bottom here, I didn't show it, there is a place to drain the water out of it. I recommend once a week, if you're using this on a regular basis, you take it outside or take it over to the edge of the garage or whatever and let the uh, water out of there because it does, it does collect quite a bit of condensation on the inside from compressing all that air. So really nice, man. Like I, I'm, I'm surprised at the, how quiet it is for sure. I think that's probably the biggest surprise of the bunch. 
I thought maybe with two motors it, or two cylinders going, it would be more of a racket. But it actually sounds like it, it clears it out to a drone more than it does that hammering sound that you get with a large single cylinder compressor. So I'm pretty impressed. I love it. I love it. I love the fact that, you know, Vavor is uh, leading the way on affordable tools right now. I, I go to Home Depot and something like this would cost at least $50 more than it did, including free shipping. I didn't have to drive anywhere. That'll do it for today, my friends. Till next time, take care.